everybody. Happy Monday. Um, I'm Melissa the Stamp Dog and today I want to share with you the special offer for new demonstrators that sign up beginning January 3rd which is this Friday. So um, our starter kit with Stampin' Up! is normally $99 and with that you get to pick out $125 worth of product whatever you would like to have. So if you've been a demonstrator before or if you've already been collecting a lot of Stampin' Up! supplies, um, this allows you to really customize what things you'll actually use and need. So that is the basic starter kit offer that we have all of the time. But during celebration, we have a little extra incentive to sign up. So in addition to the $125 that you get to pick out, you're also going to select any stamp set from the annual catalog or the January through June mini catalog for free. That does exclude hostess sets and celebration sets, but anything else is um, fair game. And then they sweetened it a little bit more. So there is, and this is absolutely adorable, wait till you see it, a six inch mini paper trimmer. And these are only available to new demonstrators that sign up during celebration while supplies last. So it has a little trimmer there. But this is going to be perfect for making cards and just being able to pack that away. So absolutely love that. And there is not a way to purchase that. You can only get that if you sign up as a new demonstrator. The other thing, and I haven't even opened this yet, so you guys are going to get to see it, um, same as me is a six by six designer series paper stack. And I'm gonna turn the light down just a little bit because it looks like it's a little too bright there. Maybe that'll be better. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. And these are, this is a sampler pack of papers from both the Celebration and the um, January through June mini catalog. I don't think it's everything, but it is most of those. The one I don't see um, are any of the ones that have the foil accents on it. So I'm just gonna kind of flip through that so you can see, but the poppies are in there. Um, the masculine one is in there. Um, the little birthday bonanza one is there. So there's a bunch of those. I'm not sure exactly how many sheets there are, but there's quite a few and it's a great little sampler that you could actually start making your cards with. So that begins on Friday. If you've thought about becoming a demonstrator or you have any questions about that, just message me. I would love to talk to you and get you um, started and ready to go by then. So I'm also sharing a project made with the from my heart suite. I think I put from the heart on the little description, but it's called from my heart. And I'm gonna show you the items that are in that suite, and those will be available to purchase beginning on Friday also. So um, remember that during celebration, you get to select a free product um, from the Celebration Mini Catalog, which is this one right here, with a $50 purchase during that time. So um, if you haven't gotten these in the mail and you would like to receive them, I will be having an open house on Saturday if you are local to Kokomo, Indiana. If not, um, you know, send me a message and I'll get those out to you. So let's see, I'm gonna have to turn the camera around so you're gonna have to be patient with me for just a moment. You guys know how this goes. It sometimes gets a little ugly. So hold on just a moment. No crashing or burning yet, so that's good. I just put a new thing on my light, so hopefully it's going to cooperate today. So let's see here. Do you want to see my ceiling? Don't think you do. Okay. So, yes, you can see my desk is an absolute mess right now. Um, I have been working very tirelessly on a lot of projects for the open house and also for blog posts coming up. So it's a little messier than I would like, but that's okay. 
I'm sure all of you have very neat desk, right? <laughs> all right. So, okay. So we are gonna make a project with this suite. And like I said, I've been doing quite a bit with it, so I've got a lot of uh, scraps. <laughs> I'm gonna turn that off and hopefully, let me see if I can get light on there, see if that's better. Okay, so the main focal point of the From My Heart suite is the heartfelt stamp set. And this is what that looks like. So you've got a lot of heart images and some really cute little sayings on that too. And then if you buy the bundle, there are two punches that go with this. So um, one is a scallop border and one is just a plain heart and those do, do layer on top of one another. And they do fit the different images on there. And we will be using those in our project also. The other items, the little accessories that you get in this are the faceted gems and these are so cute. Just show you those. Um, they're not adhesive, so you do have to glue those on, but I did use those in a project and I'll show that one to you. Um, and I believe the colors are Flirty Flamingo and Real Red. And then there is a package of doilies and they're heart shaped and there's Flirty Flamingo and Real Red. And then what I did on another project is just turn those over because it's white on the back and you can use that too. So those go with it. And then there is the From My Heart Designer Series paper. And a lot of these papers have foil accents to them. Um, I believe this one does not, but this one does. So you can kind of see that foil, it's picking up on the light there. So there's the foil accents on one side and then it's plain on the other side. So this one has little hearts and arrows to it. And looks like that's the same piece. Um, here is a foil sheet also, so you can see how shiny that is. And when I do the project, you'll, you'll see I've cut all of these into little scraps. And so a lot of them, you're not gonna see that. This is on a white background, and then there's another one that's on a really light pink background, which is this one right here. And I'll turn that over. And this one doesn't have any foil on it, so it's just flat. And then this one is really a neat page because you can actually punch out these foil hearts with those punches. So that's really nice. So you can either do it as just a straight heart or you can use the scalloped heart. And then this is the other side here. So the foil is on one side of several of those sheets. And I will show you a couple of projects that I've done. This one I posted on my blog, I believe, on Friday. Um, unfortunately, when I did the picture, it didn't really show up the foil very much, but you can see that. And I've got some of those little gems on there too. Um, this is a new die and one of my favorites. I think uh, everyone will need to have this one but um, it is a layering die, and I'll be sharing more of that. Here is that doily that I used the back of, and then this is one of those foil hearts that I punched out. So you can see that one's got a lot of shimmer and shine to it. Now this other project I'm gonna have to be a little careful with because it's not actually put down. I'm just kind of playing around with it. If you've been on my Facebook page over the weekend, you know I started a poll to see if anyone was interested in doing a scrapbooking class. So I'm just starting to put some samples together. And this is a scrapbook page that, like I said, I haven't laid anything down yet. Just kind of playing around with some of my scraps on that. So if you're interested in doing some scrapbooking with me next year, make sure you go and find that poll on my page. And um, I will have an announcement about that later this week. So that is one of our potential projects for that. And then because I've been doing so much, like I said, I have a lot of scraps. So this is the project we're going to be making today. So I have a little scrap map that I will be posting on here later today. 
and it has the measurements for each of these. And what's great about this is you can do this with any paper that you've already had. Um, just cut them to those measurements, lay that out, and you've got an easy, quick card. So my base on this card is real red, and it is four and a quarter by 11 inches long, and I scored it at five and a half. Now, when I do a red card base or any dark card base, I'll always put a piece of paper on the inside. I like to do a white piece, so I'll bring my sample back over here so that I can write my greeting on the inside. So I usually cut that to four inches by five and a quarter. Okay, but we're just gonna start with this today. So again, all of these little scraps that I have here these I will put the measurements on later today for you so that you can make a card with this as well. So I'm going to start just by adhering those down. And I don't generally do a lot of um, measuring when I do this. Um, once I have my measurements for my pieces and I know how I'm gonna lay them out, I just kind of eyeball this. So if you're not comfortable with that, you can measure it out. But I usually start with all of my corners first. And again, if you don't like that layout, you can always kind of turn this around and use a different side. So I'm gonna change this up just a little bit so it's not exactly like the first card. Bring that in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. And so this is perfect when you do end up making lots of projects and you've got all those scraps left over. It, it gets kind of uh, crazy and you don't want to throw them away. It's nice to have one of these little scrap maps with the measurements so that you can just measure those out and create a new card. So I'm just going to add that up there. So you can see I've got that just laid out. And as long as you've got paper that coordinates, it really doesn't matter how you get that exactly. So I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock. You'll notice that I've got one of the stamp and pierce mats underneath it. Anytime I'm stamping with a photopolymer stamp set or one of the clear stamp sets, I'm always putting one of these mats underneath because even if you've got a great, um, table, it's sometimes hard to get a really good impression because there isn't a cushion on the actual stamp. So I've inked this up really well. And this, because it's a solid stamp, I'm going to actually hold it down onto the paper for just a minute so that the paper can grab all of that ink and I'm going to get a good impression there. Now, if you find that the first couple of times you stamp this, that it doesn't stamp really nicely for you, um, what I suggest you do is just clean this a couple of times, either with your Stampin' Chamois or with the Stampin' Scrub, and then it should stamp better for you after that. Sometimes when they manufacture the stamps, there can be a little bit of residue left over, and so you want to get that off in order to get a good image there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is use the heart stamp. This is the one without the scallop. And I'm gonna turn it upside down so I can see exactly where I'm punching. And I'm just gonna line that up in the punch, like so. And I've got that there. And then I'm going to use the scallop punch, which is this one right here. And I'm going to turn that one over. Don't really have to, but I like to see where I'm punching and not waste any paper. And I'm just going to do a plain white one there. And I'm going to add the plain white to my card. I'm just going to put that right there. And then I know I'm gonna tie a ribbon around that. And there is red ribbon that goes with this suite. Don't think I showed that to you with all the others. And I'm gonna tie this one in a knot. I tied the other one in a bow, but um, I tend to have a little bit of stage fright whenever I'm doing this. So um, here is my little trick for measuring out your ribbon. So if you're gonna tie a knot, 
you want to measure three times the width of your card or wherever it's going around. If you're going to do a bow, measure it four times. So three times will work perfectly there. I'm going to go ahead and tie that. And I want it just to fit like right over this little space there. But by measuring out that three times, I find that I get just the right amount and I'm not too wasteful on my um, ribbon usage. We're just doing a double knot there. We're gonna keep this simple for those that don't like a real fussy bow. But if you like a bow, go for it. I can do a bow when nobody's watching, but when I've got people watching, I can't do them very well. All right, I'm gonna trim those ends. All right, and where'd my little heart go? There we go. We're going to add that on with some dimensionals. I'm using my mini dimensionals because I have a ton of those right now and I'm really low on my other ones. Peel those backings off. And these are all over my house right now, too. I don't know if you guys get those backings all over everything, but I know I sure do. Okay. And then there is the finished card. So we'll try to. So there we go. Just a real simple little scrap usage done on that. I'm going to move that down just a little bit. There we go. Very, very simple. So, and this would be a great one that kids could help you with too. So there's that one. I have this one also. That one's already on my blog. This one will be up later and I will put all of the measurements for this one up there. So again, if you are local, be sure to attend the um, open house on Saturday from one to three. Um, if you're in Kokomo, Indiana, you probably already know where it is. And if you don't, you can message me and I'll give you directions. So um, thanks so much for watching and I'm looking forward to a great celebration. I think you guys are going to love all of the products that we have to offer and uh, I look forward to seeing y'all soon. Take care.